The latest statistics show that 91% uh, of the internet uh, and content is going to be visual and video related. So our particular focus is, is helping um, operators, helping enterprises protect their brand, um, also protect their consumers and enable consumers uh, to uh, feel safe and secure with uh, their online you know, purchases and also allowing and, and enabling their kids to uh, access content using their mobile phones and, and uh, you know, feel safe on social media. There's a number of different companies like Apple, Yahoo, PhotoBucket that use our product to help um, protect their online brand and the advertisers protect their brand from you know, illicit and oftentimes illegal content that gets uploaded um, to the site. So that, you know, obviously these big brands deal with user-generated content, um, user-uploaded content, and they want to make sure that the, con that, that, that the information that users and, and uh, subscribers are accessing are safe to view, you know, are in, in sort of family-friendly type of atmosphere. And so our product helps automate the uh, protection and the, and the review and the filtering of this content from getting up on, uploaded to sites. We're able to replace hundreds of people with just a couple of servers to look at the content and then, you know, oftentimes what we end up saving their operational budget is 50 to 60 percent. Um, and, and, you know, and it becomes a, a very big savings, not only in time, money, resources, and, and uh, manpower. Parents um, are more likely to buy from brands that uh, deploy some type of active measure. You know, so as an example, um, you've got on, on, uh, on, the, on the mobile industry, right? So smartphones, everybody right now is, is very interested in getting involved in upselling um, smartphones to, to uh, kids, right? That's one of the biggest uh, growth industries right now. But the challenge is that you're finding 63% um, of the kids out there uh, don't have a data plan because the parents don't feel that, that their kids are safe um, you know, when, they're, when they're using their mobile phones for accessing content, accessing uh, digital media. So what, um, what ends up happening is, is when, um, when you look at deploying some type of safety solution, whether, whether it be, um, you know, in our case, the iGuardian product, that uh, parents are 73% more likely to buy a data plan, buy a smartphone for a kid when they're using a technology like ours. So the studies that we, we've done um, through you know, the Pew Research and, and IGR research out of Austin, uh, Texas, have found that, um, that parents are willing to pay for this type of service. They, you know, obviously, there, there's kind of a conundrum in the industry right now that you've got um, you know, the content providers are providing the service, like the Googles of the world are providing the service um, and the content but the parents expect the carrier to be responsible for providing a safe uh, environment for both themselves but also their, their kids. And so the parents understand that, you know, obviously there's a cost of doing this and they're willing to pay the, the carrier for that. And in many cases, you're finding that the uh, regulators um, are getting involved to help, uh, to help you know, sort of um, smooth the water. Yeah, we find that uh, the North American market happens to be probably one of the um, most difficult markets in, in terms of e-safety and, uh, you know, and, and content moderation or mediation in our case and making sure that, that the content gets to the right subscriber, you know, whether it be age appropriate and or context appropriate. Um, what we find is, especially in the Asian markets and the Latin American markets, the, the, the market as well as the operators are much, much more inclined to deploy a solution um, like ours. Uh, that helps to make sure that the content gets matched to the right user, um, but also making sure that, you know, the, obviously the content is safe for the end user. You know, it's not such a technical um, issue with most consumers. It's more of a personal or passionate, you know, the human factor comes into play. And so trust in, in, in regards to um, online safety is, deals with sort of human emotion. And um, the, you know, the statistics, the studies uh, prove out that if you can speak to them in terms of what they understand, hey, that I'm going to protect you as a consumer and make sure that the content that I'm providing is, is suitable for you, then they're much, much more likely. You're, you're looking at, uh, in many cases, you know, up to a 60% uh, more likely chance to buy your goods and services than without.